right guys, so <clears throat> as you can see, I've started a renovation on this side portion of my yard. I'm in the process of transitioning when what's what once was tall fescue into uh, Bermuda. Uh, more specifically, I'm gonna be sprigging iron cutter Bermuda in this 4,500 square foot area of my yard. Um, all I've done so far, I've sprayed it out twice using glyphosate, um, mowed it down as low as I possibly can. It's around an inch and in some areas below an inch just to bring up more of that dead material. And then today, I'm just gonna run the power rake through it to rip up more of this dead grass to expose as much of the ground so when we go to sprig, I have more open ground to press and crimp those sprigs into the ground. So I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm sure there'll be people that tell me that I'm too far north for Bermuda and those types of things, but um, I know Iron Cutter uh, Bermuda is a hybrid Bermuda that's been basically genetically modified to be able to withstand the cold temperatures we get up here. So there's very little, if any, die off. Um, so, and they grow, grow it right here locally at a sod farm, so that tells me I know it can withstand the winters we get here or else sod farms wouldn't even grow it. Um, the main reasons that I'll just mention as to why I'm converting this to Bermuda is from a maintenance standpoint, it's gonna be a lot less uh, inputs from fertilizer, water, uh, literally no fungicides. So uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper from those perspectives to maintain this. Yes, I'll be mowing potentially more, uh, obviously more during the summer than I will be my tall fescue areas in the front and back. Um, but that's the biggest reasons why I'm doing this is because one, I love Bermuda, two, I just wanted to start decreasing the amount of inputs I'm having to do with fungicides and fertilizer and water. Um, those are just big factors for me that play into why I wanted to do this renovation. So just wanted to answer that, those questions real quick because I'm sure I'll get people commenting or asking questions about that. If you have any more, just drop them down below. But let's just get into this dirty, uh, dusty mess with the power rake. So the first pass of the power rake is done throughout this whole area. Um, I'll definitely be having to go over it twice because it's getting down pretty good and deep in some areas, but some spots it's not uh, just because it's not completely smooth and whatnot. Uh, running the power rake through this all is not the difficult part. The difficult part that I'm dreading right now is just picking up all this debris. Um, I think I'm gonna try to blow it into piles, see how that goes. Um, versus mowing it up because there's just so much dead material that I might be able to make one pass with the mower and the bags is going to be full. So I think I'm going to try to blow it into piles, put it in yard waste bags, and then maybe mow over it after that and then do that whole process over again. So, um, so here's a spot that you can see. It's definitely getting down into uh, the ground nice and well, clearing out some of this material, but I'm gonna need to run through it at least one more time, more than likely two times, but it's gonna be a long, dusty, dirty day.
All right, so blowing it into piles and then putting it into bags wasn't too terribly bad. I uh, got a good a bulk of the material out, up and then as you can see, I went back over the lawn with the mower to pull up the remainder of the dead material. Um, but for the sake of redundancy, I'm not gonna record this again because I'm gonna have to do it maybe probably two more times. Um, I'm hoping to try to get the soil the ground to look like this. I don't think I'll be able to prep it quite that well over the whole uh, ground, but I'm hoping to try to get it as close to this as I possibly can. That might be, um, that'd be the perfect case scenario if I could get it like this. But like I said, for the sake of redundancy, I'm not gonna record that whole process over the, uh, again, but as you can see, it's just running the power rake through it, getting all the material up and doing that until the ground is prepped to what you're trying to get it to. So I'll come back to you guys once I have all the ground exactly how I want it, and I'll just see you guys in a little bit. Three days later. All right, so today is Tuesday, May 9th. All of that power raking was this past Saturday, and I ended up having to go through the yard three times with the power rake, and then raking all that material up into piles and putting it all in yard waste bags. There was literally tons of material. I would have been emptying my mower every 10 feet if I were trying to use the mower, so raking it up was definitely the easiest way to go about that. Unfortunately, I couldn't burn anything off because it was too late to get a burn permit for the city I live in, plus I really don't think I would have been able to get a burn permit for this type of project. I have like 38 yard bags, uh, yard waste bags full of dead grass, and uh, I'm just glad that process is done. So as you can see, there are uh, some areas that are more opened up than others, but across the board, the uh, lawn is opened up quite a bit, and there's quite a bit of bare ground showing up through uh, all this dead grass that's left over here. And actually this dead grass uh, will hold, will act as a uh, kind of a st like a stabilizer for the sprigs. It'll help hold them in place uh, if in the event we do get some heavy rains or anything like that. But um, that process of prepping the ground is done. The next part will be to uh, core aerate and then top dress with sand, which I plan on doing this coming weekend if weather permits. So. It's been a step-by-step -step journey. I'm really looking forward to getting the sprigs down. Currently, the date to get the sprigs down is May 27th, but that's really all dependent on the farm being ready to harvest them from their fields. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave any questions or comments down below, and I will try to answer them the best I can. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.